Dave Canales, the new head coach of the Carolina Panthers, is an upbeat dude. He's optimistic. He's fun-loving. He's excited to be the head coach of the Carolina Panthers, and he loves himself some Bryce Young. That if there, it's it's funny. There's two messages that uh, that the Panthers very obviously want to get out to the public. One is all their coaches are in alignment, along with the front office, and two is Dave Canales loves life. Every time I hear Dave Canales speak, all I can think in the back of my head is just, I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Exactly. Gotta- it's it's the um. Oh, uh, the secret. You're probably a little, a little young. The the secret was this this viral like mental. I don't. Know, it was like a hack, right? And it was all about the first thought of the day needs to be positive, and don't let negative thoughts into your brain. And positive, positive, positive. Dave Canales has read the book. I feel like he has one of those affirmation signs by his bed that he like flips over every day. He's he's um uh, jumps out of bed and just immediately starts doing push ups. The Saturday Night Live guy, right? And doggone it, people like me. <laughs> <laughs> here's dave canales talking about his quarterback bryce young he's got a lot of experience a lot of big stage wins the heisman a lot of pressure things that he's had to deal with i'm gonna lean on that experience i'm gonna lean on his poise one of the first things i mentioned about bryce is when you watch him play in college football and you saw him in those big games on tv whether it was early in the season mm-hmm. or whether it was later in the season against really good opponents if you look behind the face mask, the eyes are the same. His countenance is the same. And hmm. He's just cold-blooded. And so those things were what really, you know, encouraged me to say, this is going to be the top guy coming out because he's the guy. He is him. That's the, is that what people say nowadays? He, he is him. Yeah. So, sure. Um, I, so I, I mean, just, you just called Bryce Young cold-blooded. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's I how like I feel hearing about that. It. And so now it's about just giving him tools, um, giving him the green light to use those tools in an appropriate fashion and playing a, a brand of offensive football that we're proud of. That interview being conducted by Kay Adams. Canales sounded a bit like me with the TikTok conversation earlier, right? Like, <laughs> he is him. Is that what the cool kids are saying? I hate to tell you, two people have texted me already saying they love the TikTok song. So oh, well. This might be the new trend whenever I produce. There we go. A um, few things. First of all, I, I – there's only one way Dave Canales would be able to say what he just said to Kay Adams about Bryce Young's face, right? Because if you're just watching like the, the, the coach's film, coach's film is zoomed all the way out to see the entire field. You see the all 22, right? You see the entire field. There's two angles, one from the side, one from the end zone. You watch them both. That's how coaches traditionally watch film. You can't see facial expressions. Dave Canales went back and watched the TV cut of Bryce Young's Alabama games and was paying attention to when they zoomed in on the quarterback. This dude's been thorough in his, in his uh, evaluations of Bryce. There, there's only one way to know that in the, the early games of his Alabama season when there's less pressure and the big games later on when the Heisman was on the line, when the national championship was on the line, when the SEC championship was on the line, uh, that, that he had the same facial, cool, calm, collected, uh, what, what do you call him, a cold-blooded. Like, There's only one way to know that, and that's from the, the television copy. Or being on the sidelines, and Dave Canales was not on the sidelines for Alabama. So, thorough. Here's where I'm at with Dave Canales. I trust his enthusiasm and energy. I trust his vibe. I was a little worried early on that he was doing his best Pete Carroll impression where he just thought that's what good coaches do because he had been around Pete Carroll so long. So, he was up there doing like a caricature. He was going to start chewing gum. (laughs) Right, that's the Pete Carroll thing. Pete Carroll will be on the sideline watching a, a extra point, and that Asmore sound was just crazy. Just then. just chewing away, just just doing what he's got to do. I half expected, you know, Dave Canales to show up the first day of practice with silver hair, uh, a pack of gum in his back pocket, and and you know, one of those like fanny straps that he you, has that he's going to be using to play calls with, like like a, a USC backpack. Uh, and and he was going to be talking to Matt Liner. Like I half expected him to show up doing all of the 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 Pete Carroll stuff. I now believe it's authentic. He's authentically Pete Carroll like, and just happened to coach under Pete Carroll. Here's Canales on the lessons he learned from the former coach, Coach Pete. I think one of the things that I learned from him, if I could take one thing away from my time with Pete, it was be you. 
Hmm. Be yourself, be the best version of who you are and what you can become. Um, so for me, I think it's just like not being concerned with what he did, but how he did it and the things that were so important to him. Um, and we see those, we see that blueprint across the league with these successful head coaches that have had 10 years that built good championship style football for a long time. They all care about the same thing. It's taking care of the ball. Mm -hmm. It's taking it away on defense. It's having great effort running like crazy and playing smart and situational football. Those are the key pillars, the key tenants that a good football foundation is built on. So that's really what I want to do here. I trust his enthusiasm. It's now about the X's and O's. And that is more important. If you listen to both answers we played for you, the answer about Bryce Young and the answer about Pete Carroll, the first half, and if you don't remember them word for word, I'll break it down for you. The first half of those answers was very wishy-washy, right? It was very, uh, for Bryce Young, it was all about the eyes and the cold-blooded and the, the calm. For the answer about Pete Carroll, the first half of the answer was be you, be yourself, you know, be authentic. The second half of those answers Got more nitty gritty, right? The second half about Bryce Young was we need to surround him with the players that allow him to run the offense more effectively. For Pete Carroll, the end, it started getting into his foundational football beliefs, right? It, it, it got more nitty gritty. That's the part that I still need to see from Dave Canales, and and we won't until games start. I'm not I'm not knocking him for not having shown us it yet, but I am saying that's now the question. At least he's not making any open ended open ended promises right now. I, mean, I feel like he's We're just going to win nine games this year. I feel like he's just going through his game plan, what he has, where he's going to put in place to build Bryce, Young, Bryce Young's career, make him successful with the pieces around him. Bryce Young will be in a healthier environment this year. I'm confident of that. The, the coaches won't be as Game of Thrones backstabbing trying to get the throne. The, the offense will be built a little bit more cohesive rather than trying to blend a bunch of different systems together from a bunch of different coaches who come from a bunch of different coaching trees. He will be in a healthier environment uh, as a, as a like social environment that it'll be better for Bryce. Will it be a better team around Bryce? We still haven't seen. Will it be an offense that that is more built to his skill set? That we haven't seen, and there's no way for us to see it, and you have to give him time to go through free agency and the draft to do it, but that's where we're at with Dave Canales. I I now, with with a certain amount of, uh, of, of time spent hearing him at the Combine, at the intro press conference, in interviews, now with, with Kay Adams, I believe the enthusiasm and authenticity is how he rolls. That's, that's Dave Canales at his core. That's good. That's important. It's way more important to get the football right. That's next on the to-do list.